Hey guys, what is up? Back to another video. Um, please, please ignore the um, I'd say unusual avatar. But yeah, today, as you read from the title, I am going to be showing you how to. Um, yes, yeah, so in London. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to use your TMS and, um, you know, stop at the correct markers, like how to open your doors and everything on your train and, yeah, everything like that. So, yeah, let's do it. So, first, yeah, um, if you, if you, you need to have the tube operators rank at least, like the, um, PR, PR players rank. <laughs> so yeah, to do that, you just need to join the group, and it will take up to forty-eight hours, I think, to um, yeah, to be accepted into the group. And then once you've done that, you can um, go to the menu up here. You can go team. You can go tube operator. So it will reset. You don't worry. It's it's meant to do it. So now you will appear on the tube operator's team. I'm gonna go back to the menu. I'm gonna go drive and you spawn whatever train you want, wherever you want. So I'm gonna spawn a seven carriage train at Woodson Woodston Green. So I'm just gonna wait for that to swarm. There we go. So we have this. So once you have spawned your train. Sometimes there'll be an error message like um, the depot slash siding is blocked or um, your train isn't permitted at that siding slash depot. Yeah, you just need to try somewhere else or use a different train. Yeah, but I've got my seven carriage 1996 stop train here at Woods and Green siding. And so, yeah, so you spawn like this. So choose for TMS. You want to click TMS right here. You see it will appear blank. Uh, yeah, it's not because it's not loading or anything. It's because your train hasn't been turned on. So you go key and then you just turn it on to whatever. Just you know, yeah. So yeah, I like to just quickly put mine on. So yeah, you've got this little menu here, yeah. Set your destination. Or you click sign on. And yes, we don't need to worry about. I don't. Wor I personally don't worry about the c crew ID, crew duty. Um, because I don't do anything. I don't think. But destination, the three zeros next to that. That's important. So. Yeah. So. Destination, there's a destination, there's, for each destination there's a code to it, and in order to get that destination to appear right here, you must use the code into here, so yeah, so to do that you can either press 5, yeah this is PC, this video is PC only, but, so you press 5 on your keyboard or whatever, and you zoom in, yeah, five to this position, and then you zoom in, and then um, you can see up here the numbers to the destinations are here, or the way that I like to prefer it, click the question mark here, and so you have this. You have this little scrolling bar at the bottom, so you just want to move that across until you get cab eating, and then you, cab heating. <laughs> And you want to either scroll down using this bar or just use the mouse, which is what I do. And then, boom, you have destinations here. Yeah. We don't need to worry about these, but we have these. So, for example, if we wanted to, it to say Stratford, I could do 31 or 32. So, you see, 31, 0 through 1 works as well. But, yeah, so, and then... To pull it in fully, because you don't like click enter or anything, that doesn't work. You just click set changes and you can see. And now it says Stratford. 
As yeah, that's how you get your destination set up. Um, the next thing is broadcast. So broadcast, you'll see that when you click on it, it's just a blank pretty much, except for this the back button and yeah, the train information and everything. So to get this to actually work we press 5 again to go into this position, and this time it's here, so you can just move it around. You know, you can also, you can interact it from this, so you can go on any, anything, you know. So, you go to broadcast, and then, yeah, I don't think you, I don't think I'm sharing audio, but it will say, like, for example, restricted escalator, it says... There is restricted escalator service at the next station, and you may wish to alight here or beyond and continue your journey at street level. I just copied what it just said, so yeah. So you can go all of these, you know, find the gas, no clue, change, no smoking, you know. Yeah. And it will tell all your passengers in the train if you have any whatever you need to tell them so if there's um i don't know pickpockets or beggars you can just go beggars and it will say on that attention and you know please do not encourage beggars or buskers so yeah um that's how you do broadcast and then you get press six to go out if there's if you're at a station there's cameras um, you might have to press six a couple of times because it will go into the station cameras, or you can just click this camera here to um, yeah go in. But I like to just go five six five six five six. So yeah, um, next is comms control. I personally do not really use this anytime, and that's because I don't need to really. So comms control, you can click on it like normal. Nothing like broadcast. Just select radio channel. No, you can go Stratford, Neesden, or Line. I don't know what that is, but yeah, I'm close to Neesden, so I'll, um, I'll do Neesden. But yeah, and then you can do no messages for one station, which is basically when you have a destination, there's this um, like announcer that says like the next station is blah 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 blah. Change here for you know that and so yeah no messages for one station I mean it m means it will cancel one of those that the next thing that the train will say automatically so instead, of, instead when you approach it says the next station it won't just won't say anything and so yeah that's what it does and then the next ones it will turn on, 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 on. if you get what I mean <laughs> uh, disable all messages well it disables everything so you're trained to train doesn't say anything and then enable all so basically if you disabled it or no messages you can just enable it again so yeah that is how to use your tms now we're on to how to park up your train so i'm just going to use the same train actually i'm um, sierra so yeah. I, I personally like doing it full screen it just feels like you're actually Driving, like, you know. Yeah, can I just quickly get rid of this? Just... Oh, yeah, in case you wanted to know, um, G on your keyboard to get rid of this bit, and C to get rid of this bit, so you can do it together. But, yeah, that's it, and then you just click them again, and, you know. Yeah, you can get the back. So, um, so if you, if you don't know how to drive already, you can... Go to my how to drive a train in Roblox London Underground Simulator video, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. So, we're just gonna move. So, yeah, this is where you open your doors, you click the doors button, and then yeah, you can see open, open. It just said the next station. So, yeah, I can disable that by comms control, but I'm not gonna. So, so at the end of the platform, um, there are a few chevrons. 
Yeah, so what you want to try and do is line up perfectly with them. Otherwise, the doors won't open. So you can see I'm slowing down. It says CSD right, so if I click on the left open, nothing happens. If I click on the right open, it opens. You can see right here to open. If you try and close it here, open here, nothing happens. And yeah, so you can actually click um, number six again to go onto the cameras. So yeah. So it's like, it's for like, if there's any last minute people just getting on, you know? Before, you'll see you check the platforms clear before you close the doors and then you go like that and then you go. And yeah, and then you go off to your next station. Yeah, guys, so that was it. That was how to um, use your TMS and how to stop that markers correctly in Roblox London Underground Simulator. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you found it very useful. Um... And yeah, I'm actually going to do, and yeah, so the name of the game actually, because some people, um, just in case you ask, the name of the game is um, TFA DGM Lines. so for example, if you're at Roblox, you just type, you can either type, you know, I'm not like, DJMN lines and it will come up as you can see right here the first result you can see it by because there's a lot of other train thingies but because it should be the first result and it has this picture on it but or you can type um, London Underground I spelled that wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you type London Underground. And it should be the first result. There's also um, other ones like this one and this one. This one's just like an old version of this one. No, it's not this one. You can see it has more players, so it has that. Yeah, this one, um, just older, really. But yeah, sometimes I like to go in it, just to see how the game has changed. But yeah, anyway, that was it of how to... Oh god, that's not very good, I should get off the tracks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was how to use a TMS and... CSDE in Roblox Underground Simulator. I hope you enjoyed once again, and I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Uh, yeah. So, I don't really have much more to say except for subscribe and turn on all notifications for new uploads, and yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.